if my future kid is watching this, you can either have a family or you can have an imaginary friend, but you're not getting both. And then we have a, oh, hell nah. Hey y'all, welcome to my Mythathon vlog two out of three. Originally, I was gonna do daily vlogs for the entire week, but since I'm going out of town, I decided to just post three Mythathon daily vlogs. But then for the last week of this month, I will do a full week of daily vlogs, so don't sweat. But I am super excited about this video because I have a surprise for you. I have a lot in store for you in this video, so I'm going to be doing two unboxings. In yesterday's daily vlog, I finished The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, gave it five out of five stars, and I completed the prompt of reading a book with an LGBTQIA main character. And in today's vlog, I am going to be starting uh, to Kill a Kingdom. To Kill a Kingdom, of course, is our Team Earth group book for Mythathon, and leading Team Earth is Brittany the Bibliophile. And then I'm gonna be continuing reading Imaginary Friend. I'm on page, I think, 285 out of 700. I'm buddy reading this with Julia from Julia Sapphire. Oh my God, this book is amazing, y'all. I just got out of the shower. I did my post-shower skin hair care routine, which I showed you in my last video. And then this is my outfit of the day. I am just wearing a tool shirt and some shorts. Everybody is really excited about BTS and I am a metalhead, so I'm literally just sitting here in my dark corner like <whistles> while everybody's really excited about K-pop. I actually took tonight off of work just so that I could sit and read and hang out with y'all. So the only thing I really have to do is go to the bank to deposit some monies and my physical therapy exercises and maybe I'll go get like some coffee or, or go to the gym. And then my last plan for this vlog is to show you my reading nook, how I set up my reading nook in one of the windows of my living room. In yesterday's vlog, I showed you my PTSD, anxiety, self-care routine, which is what I perform when my panic attacks and my anxiety and PTSD are really bad. So if you want to see that, make sure you watch the last vlog. Oh, and since I haven't eaten yet, I figure I should just show you my donut of the day. So this is our donut. What we are looking at here is none other than a vanilla glazed donut with fruity pebbles. Because fuck my arteries. I am back home from running errands. I went to the library and my bank. Now it's time to do a couple unboxings and then we are going to get started reading To Kill a Kingdom. I already tried to start this and I stopped immediately because the first line, holy cow. The first sentence is, I have a heart for every year I've been alive. So cool. And I love that the first page comes with this octopus imagery, like ugh. And for my bookmark, I'm using the June card that I got in the margins box yesterday. So excited to read this, you guys. I'm gonna try and finish it throughout the course of this vlog. So the first thing I wanted to show you is a package that I got from Amazon. I ordered this Ardell Stroke A Brow Eyebrow Feathering Pen, and I'm not gonna lie, I already used it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyebrows right now. This pen applied my brows with surgical precision. This pen went to Harvard Medical, okay? I've been using Anastasia pens, which are way more expensive, but I'm using this from now on. And I told you in yesterday's vlog that I've been playing around with accessories, so I ordered some celestial hair pins. Look at this one. Oh my God, we stand. It came with these like star moon pearl pins as well. I cannot wait to play around with these and put these in my hair and do like a hairpin bow tie combo. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Then I got a hair chain from a company called Miss Grace. I haven't opened it, so let's see what it's like. It's really difficult to put a hair chain in kinky hair because it's kinky up in here. So I'm gonna play around and see how I can like make it not be a disaster. Oh my God, what is going on with this package? This is what the hair chain looks like. I am so excited about this. Okay, so I definitely need to adjust this and play around with it and place it properly, but this is kind of an example of what it looks like. I think it's really dope. What do you guys think? Do you like this? What do you think? And then I just ordered another bottle of my trusty dusty peppermint oil that I use in my self-care anti-anxiety routine. Okay, now it is time to do a book unboxing. I'm so excited about this box. The box kind of got beat up in the mail, but it is a welcome to the world of the Kingdom of Souls. This is what the box looks like. I am so excited to read Kingdom of Souls. It is one of my most highly anticipated books of the year and probably my favorite book cover. So I have opened the box and right away I see the book, but I'm not gonna show you yet. Okay, so 
this is a freaking mood look at this bookmark oh my god this is absolutely gorgeous i i'm using this right now okay we're gonna replace june with this bookmark i'm sorry i'm sorry june i'll see you later okay okay yes yeah <laughs> I've been in this space where I'm really obsessed with serpent imagery on book covers, like the book cover for the ninth house, the book cover for serpent and dove. Like I just, I, there's something about seeing like a twisty serpent on a book cover that's so dark and atmospheric and it just draws me in. I don't know why it's like a new thing that I'm obsessed with for some reason, but okay. What else is in here? This is, Oh, it's gooey. This is okay. So it says it's from black sheep and it is oatmeal milk and honey. Is this a soap? Is it a bath bomb? What is it? Do I eat it? I mean, it's edible, right? Ooh, that smells good. It smells like, it smells like a combination of baby powder and Play-Doh, <laughs> but in a good way. That smells good. Ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, so now I see this gorgeous character card for Ara, I believe is her name. Look at this art. I've waited my whole life to start seeing art with black girls that look like this. Like just so, look at the colors and the way that her hair is done. Oh my God, I gotta do that hairstyle. Then it says Kingdom of Souls on the back. I'm getting so fucking hyped. I'm also getting a Rural Monroe vibes from her manipulating electricity. Yes, we stand. I hope that's an ability of hers. And then we have a, oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. Okay, so this is cool, but like, I've seen way too many horror movies to let this stay in my house. One second you're living a happy life and the next second your house is on fire and everything in your home is burning but this damn doll. Nope, not today, Annabelle. What else is in here? Okay, so the next thing I see is, I think it's a candle. Book Lovers is Soy Candle by Frostbeard Studio. Look at the little beard. I'm freaking dying. That's so cute. Oh my God, and it's called Old Books. Does it smell like old books? Aged paper, dust, and vanilla. How do you have an aged paper scent? How do you put that in a... <sighs> this smells phenomenal, but I don't... I'm, it's not like giving me old book vibes. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm grabbing an old book. Oh, it does smell like old books. It's just very heavy on the vanilla and that's what's throwing it off. But in terms of like the dust and the age paper, okay, I am actually getting that. I'm going to light this tonight. Oh my God. It says it's vegan and renewable and it has a 10 plus hour burn time. Good, because we are gonna be burning the hell out of this tonight. Um, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And it's got this like reflective, oh my God, this is gorgeous. Also, can we just shout out this beautiful young woman who looks just like Willow Smith? I mean, I think it's time for me to show you Kingdom of Souls by Red Baron. She's sitting on a throne of skulls. Goals. Born to a family of powerful witch doctors, magicless Ara is a growing disappointment to her ambitious mother. Same. There's only one thing Ara has never tried, the deadly last resort of trading years of her own life for power. But when the kingdom's children begin to vanish, Ara is desperate to find the culprit. She uncovers something worse. The long imprisoned demon king is stirring and she may be the only one who can stop him. If he awakens, the demon king's hunger for souls will bring Ara's world to its knees, unless she pays the price for the magic to save it. I actually didn't know what this book was about. I knew that it involved witch doctors and magic, but I've been trying to keep this synopsis a secret because I just want to be surprised by it. I recently filmed a video where I talked about books based on mythology and lore that I really want to read, and I featured this book in the video, and I intentionally didn't look at the synopsis, but now that it's physically in my hands, I could not resist reading it, and I am so glad because I am way more excited now. And it says it's an epic fantasy trilogy. Yes, yeah, so there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more covers that look like this. I think my favorite thing about the cover is it's totally catering to black girls. Like she's got her hair in box braids. I really love that because I never thought I would be holding a fantasy book that not only featured a black girl on the cover, but featured a black girl being unapologetically black. I'm reading the spoiler card and this is a bath bomb. Should I do a reading vlog where I use this bath bomb and read this book in the bathtub? What do you think? How can I rework my Mythathon TBR to fit this book in? That's what I really want to know. I'm honestly so floored by that box. It was absolutely 
gorgeous. And the book comes out on September 19th, so we don't have that much longer to wait. I'm gonna show you guys my reading nook, I'm gonna do some reading, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to reveal the surprise that I have in store for you. I wanted to say thank you to all of y'all who have been supporting my channel, the newbies that are supporting my channel. Um, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, hell no. What is that? Do you see this? What is that? Where is it going? Please leave. <laughs> I hate bugs. <sighs> I'm moving out. I'm just like very dirty minded clearly because that's why I'm laughing at it so much but the first line in my wedding vows is going to be okay so the storm is over I did some reading and of course Irish reader uploaded a video so I had to watch that he is so funny I love Kevin I'm in the early 300s of imaginary friend and oh my gosh the atmosphere and the scenes of like foreboding and fear and scariness are so they're so well done in this book. But honestly, the most impressive part of this book is how interconnected all these characters are and how literally important every single detail is to the story. Literally all of the characters are connected in various ways and there are so many truth reveals and bomb drops. This book is flying by. I absolutely do not feel like I'm reading a 700 page book. It's so good. And the last thing I'm gonna say about this is that my kid is not allowed to have no imaginary friends. If my future kid is watching this, you can either have a family or you can have an imaginary friend, but you're not getting both. You better get a doll or action figure or some real friends because I've seen this movie before. The second a little kid starts talking to somebody that nobody else can see, all kinds of shit goes down. And then I got to page 100 into Kill a Kingdom. I am really surprised by how much I'm enjoying this. I love all the lavish myths and legends and lores that's featured in this book. The world building is pretty intricate. Like I love the magic too. I love that we have like a really dark Little Mermaid retelling where the Little Mermaid is the villain because I have no idea what that was. I'm home alone. <sighs> Great, it's probably somebody's imaginary friend. And even though I love how ruthless Lyra is because she is a siren who eats the hearts of men and she specifically goes after Princess because they are the most important people to their family. And even though I'm really fascinated by Lyra's character, I much prefer Prince Elian's character because even though he is a prince, he doesn't want to be. He has no interest in being king someday. So he spends all of his time going out on the ocean with his crew, which is like his found family. And they have so much loyalty and banter and I just, I love his crew and I love the interactions between Prince Elian and his crew. He's very much a nomad and doesn't wanna settle down and be in one place and that is something that I totally, totally, totally relate to. There's only two things that's really bugging me about this story. It's doing a lot of showing rather than telling so you'll just have paragraphs describing the world building and you just give us this history through dialogue and other creative ways instead of just writing paragraphs about what's going on. Then the second thing is my favorite character whose name is Torek who reminds me so much of Tormund Giantsbane from Game of Thrones. I just found out that his character is black and this is actually something I don't like because Torek is like a really big massive guy. There are a lot of characters in the book that are described as brown skin. He's the only character who's described as being specifically black. And I'm just kind of tired of the only representation I get for black male characters are when that they're like these big hulking Luke Cage type. Like I'm just kind of over that. Like I'm, I'm ready to see some representation for sensitive black boys and shy black boys and just, yeah. So I'm kind of annoyed that his character is black, unfortunately. But you know, maybe we'll have some representation later in the story for a character that is black and not quite so stereotypical. I don't know, we'll see. It's a very small thing. It's not the end of the world. It's not like I'm gonna knock a star off for it, but it is something that I'm just like side-eyeing a little bit. I've had the worst headache all day. I've been fighting it and trying to keep it at bay, but I think it's just 
it's gonna be one of those nights so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so before I go it's time for me to show y'all the surprise okay my channel has seen so much growth over the last month and that means absolutely the world to me I love being on booktube getting to interact with y'all like it just really feels like we are one big family and chosen family is something that's so important to me which is why I like Prince Elian's dynamic with his crew so much because they are his chosen family and you guys are my chosen family so just as a way of saying thank you to all of you who have been supporting me or who are new to my channel I decided to invest in a lighting system and in a better background for my videos so the first step to that was I ordered some lights for my bookshelves and I kind of want to have like a celestial theme so I got these lights that have moons and lots of stars but wait there's more. Oh, this remote is adorable. So cute. And the other thing that I got is a ring light. And then in addition to this, it's not here yet. It'll be here tomorrow. I did order some two light boxes that I can use to add additional lighting in my videos. So for tomorrow's vlog, we will be setting up the lights for my bookshelves these ones right here, and then also testing out our new ring light. I am also saving for a professional camera, which I'm really excited about, but once again, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your continued support of Bowties and Books. It means so much to me. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Since we had a lot of rain and the theme of this book is kind of like storm witchiness, let's make the word of the day storm. So if you made it this far in the video, comment down below with the word storm. I'm going to be doing more unboxings for tomorrow's video and continuing with my Mythathon reads, so I will see y'all tomorrow.